Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, the Voice for Fitness founder and the author of The Dollars and Cents of Selling Exercise, How to Promote Personal Training with Integrity. That was published by Healthy Learning back in 2011, I think it was. I've also published this one, Navigating Fitness After 50. You can see the cover over my shoulder, but that's not why you're here. So it is while I speak. It is July, late July of 2014, and we're about a month from the second New Year's promotion, right? The busiest or the second busiest time of the year. So if you are a personal trainer, you're a personal training manager, director, or owner, or you wear all of those hats, uh, God bless you. <laughs> and you are really busy. But right now, I'm hoping you are already planned. You have your programs planned. You have your marketing pieces already finished. You have the registration on site. You've already met with all your staff members and they know how to handle phone calls and how to answer questions and where that contact information that you collect if you can answer a question needs to go. If you don't, we need to talk. So make sure that before this video is over, you click right up here and go to my blog and contact me personally and I want to help you with that. So a quick consultation, no strings, okay? But beyond that, you're here for one reason and one reason only. There is one word technique I'm going to give you right now in order to be more successful, and that is this, the word F-O-R. So no matter what it is that you're doing right now, so go to your group chain training menu, if you will, and look at what do you have on that schedule. So if I think about a couple of clubs that I know exist, it's, uh, or my own programs, it would be navigating fitness after 50 is what I call my programs, right? I'm not trying to promote the book at all, of course, but <laughs> yes, I very well am. But uh, females after 50 is the name of my course. So I've already done what I'm suggesting for you, but there are a lot of programs called simply bootcamp, or there are a lot of programs called what? Called uh, Get Fierce. I've heard that one. There are a lot of programs that are called boxing or basic boxing. There are programs that are called uh, live well. So if we added an F-O-R and then a tagline to that, telling exactly who the market was, that the service helps live well for the second 50 or the over 50 adult uh, boot camp for the 20 to 30 something, boot camp for new moms, boot camp for females only, boot camp for you decide. Yoga could be endless, couldn't it? Yoga for golfers, yoga for runners, yoga for triathletes. If you add that instead of simply a group yoga that is sold based on the merits of what time it's offered, you're hoping that if you offer it at 5 p.m. a peak target time, a private group yoga class that's a four-week session will draw people in. But it will draw more people in if you put a four there. Don't be afraid to put two types of nouns or descriptors after that. Yoga for men who are beginning yoga or beginning men. That doesn't sound right, so I didn't say it the first time, <laughs> but you get the idea. So make sure that you give deep niche descriptors by using F-O-R. It's as simple as that, but it could change everything that you do. Every offer then could have a spin-off class for it. You could do boot camp for beginners, boot camp for intermediate exercisers, and call them people who've been exercising and attending boot camp for at least six months. You could call this boot camp for people with uh, a bad lower body joint, boot camp for you know, bad knees or bad hips, telling them that you're going to take special care of them and avoid injuries for those things. F-O-R is your best marketing friend. If that was helpful, I hope that you will meet me right here. So click and I'll see you on the other side for more tips on how to market better for more profit and to help more people. This is Deborah. I hope that was helpful.